got another interview question for you. Create a class that adds additional functionality to an array list. This class's constructor should add the ability to specify whether or not duplicates are allowed in the custom array. So let's just jump straight into the code. All right. So the first thing we want to do is create a class that is called ArrayList Custom. File, new, class, ArrayList Custom. Go to finish. And this is what we want to do. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is add this thing that is called a generic. Now, a generic is a data type that's used to ensure compile time safety. Now I know that you guys are f familiar with generics. Like for example, if you're creating an array list, you know that array list is going to consist of a certain type of element. Like when you're adding elements to an array list, it has to be of a certain type of element. Whether it's an object, whether it's a string, whether it's an integ integer, things like that. Now, this generic that I'm using here is going to encompass all of the available types in Java. So I could specify this as string, but I don't want to only allow string values. I want that to be up to whatever the user specifies in this array list custom object that they're creating. All right. so. The next thing I want to do is actually extend the predefined array list class that Java has. So I'm going to go extends array list. Then want to pass in this generic once more. And I also want to right click and I want to well, not right click, but hover over this and just import the array list. Just like that. Go up here, save. All right. So, what I need to do first in this class is to create a data member of type Boolean. Public Boolean allow duplicates. Now, this variable is actually going to be used to help us determine whether or not we want to allow duplicate values to be added to this ArrayList custom object. All right. Now, another thing that we want to do is create ourselves a constructor. Let's act, you know what? Let's actually go back to the presentation. Okay, the presentation states that the class's constructor should add the ability to specify whether or not duplicates are allowed in the custom array. All right. So, we have to write a constructor that's going to allow the user or whoever's creating this array list custom to add a true or false value to specify whether or not they want duplicates added to the array list. So we're going to go public array list custom put some space between this okay and then we want this constructor to take in a boolean value allow duplicates Now, we just want to go into the constructor and write the following. This dot allow duplicates equals allow duplicates. So basically, it's pretty straightforward. What I'm doing here is taking in the value that the user enters and I'm setting it equal to the data member of allow duplicates, which I've defined in this class. Now, another thing I want to do is create a method called add, which is going to allow the user to add elements 
to this array list. So public and boolean add. All right. So this add method is going to return a boolean value because that's pretty much the add method that I'm using in this parent class here. I'm pretty much just overriding the add method that is already in this array list class. So this is how I have to go about implementing that. And for this add method, we want the user to be able to pass in any type of object. So I'm going to add the parameter e, e. Um, and e is basically used to is basically used to um, allow the user to enter in any type of object that they want, whether it be a string, integer, or any other any other any other value that they want. All right. So actually, before we start implementing this add method, we need to create this thing called a hash set. Now, as I explained in a few videos ago, a hash set is an unordered collection of values that does not allow duplicates. And we're going to be using this in order to make sure that if the user passes in a value of false, we don't want duplicates to be allowed. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. But let's just create this hash map for this hash set first. Object my set equals new hash set object we just want to import save go back down here all right so the first thing we want to do is create a conditional statement now, this is how it's going to look. If this dot allow duplicates is equal to false and my set dot add e equals false, then I want to do something. All right. Let me explain this. So basically what I'm doing here, I'm checking the value that the user passes in. So if the user passes in false, and if I try to add the value that the user passes in to the hash set, and it is a, it is a duplicate, then I want to do something. And what I want to do is actually throw a new illegal argument exception. So I want an exception to be thrown if the user passes in false into this constructor and if this value passed in to the user, this, this value passed into this set is a duplicate value. This is pretty much what this means. If my set dot add and then you pass in the value and that equals to false, then that means that the value that the user is trying to pass in is a duplicate and I just want to go down here in this illegal argument exception and write a message no duplicates allowed then I want to go down here and add an else if block else if and I want to go this dot allow duplicates equals equals true and my set dot add e equals equals false then I want to do something so basically what I'm saying is if the duplicate if the allowed duplicates value that the user enters is true and there is a duplicate value 
that is being added to this hash set. Then I just want to call super dot add e. Now basically what I'm doing here is referencing the parent class, this ArrayList class. And I want the value that I pass in here to be added to my ArrayList custom. So that's pretty much what I'm doing here. Now at the end, what I want to do is just return the allow duplicates. Return allow duplicates. That's all I want to do. Since this add method returns a boolean, we want to return true or false to specify if duplicates are allowed or not pretty much. So that's and this is pretty much it. This is the full implementation of the ArrayList custom class. So I'm going to save this and then I want to go back to my application object and then I want to start testing this out. So I want to go array list custom my list equals new array list custom then I want to pass in true save oh yeah I also want to specify the type string to end specify the type which would be string all right now I want to add some elements to this list now I want to say something like fan list.add we're going to add the same element again fan and I'm going to add one more list.add phone alright I want to save this so what I'm doing here I'm passing in true so duplicates are going to be allowed so I should get nothing returned back in the console Save it. Now I run this. Scroll down to the console. I don't get anything. But if I were to go here and pass in false, which basically means that I do not want duplicates to be added to this list, and I go up here and I run the application, I get this. Exactly what we're expecting an illegal argument exception that says no duplicates are allowed. And that's pretty much it um, the, as, as I stated before the reason I'm getting this illegal argument exception is because the value passed in here is false and what we have is this if the allowed duplicates equals false and the, there is a duplicate value trying to be added to this list that we have then I want to throw this exception that's exactly what we're doing so, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Make sure to like the video if you felt like you've been enlightened today. And until next time.